So some of these, now this is primarily, you know, used in the minority communities, primarily by women. Um, a lot of African-American women, you know, have been using these products for, you know, really for, for years and years since they were children. Um, but cumulatively, um, what exactly can these relaxers do to your body? You know, a lot of times, you know, these people, you know, they started, they went to the, you know, you can go to the the drugstore, pick up this, this product off the store shelves. You don't need any kind of prescription or whatever. You can use it. There's really no, now, as far as I know, there's no warning about any of these complications on these products. Is that correct? The, the allegations is, is, is really an inadequate uh, warning for the consumer. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's there's thousands of people that have been using these products, uh, unknowing that they're they're causing their bodies harms potentially, especially when there's a prolonged use of the product. Um, so it starts with with really what the product does. You know, it leaves the hair weak, brittle, prone to breakage, and and at a surface level, it can it can burn your skin or cause permanent damage to your scalp or hair loss. Uh, but more importantly, what's the subject of a lot of these cases? is that there is a connection between endocrine disrupting chemicals like the ones used here in uterine cancer and some other types of cancers. Uh, and a recent study by the National Institutes of Health has linked an increase in these types of negative consequences and specifically cancers uh, to the prolonged use of these endo endocrine disrupting chemicals.